In 2019, the National Human Rights Commission sent a notice to the government of Bihar. The notice criticized Bihar's improper implementation of vaccination and awareness programs surrounding acute encephalitis syndrome or AES. Because of this, more than 150 children died around Muzaffarpur, Vaishali, Shehohar and East Champaran districts of Bihar. It is around these areas that the AES outbreak began. Most of the deaths were caused due to low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia. Distressed parents flooded every hospital in these districts, desperately waiting for their children to recover. They called it Chamki Bukhar, which is another name for the killer encephalitis. It primarily affected children below the age of 15. This virus also goes by a few other names such as Lichi Havoc or Deadly Lichi Toxin. Methylene cyclopropyl glycine or MCPG, a toxin found in the lychee fruit, also causes hypoglycemia in undernourished children. Chamki bukhar usually appears between March and August in high humidity and high temperature areas. Its history is tied to the history of Japanese encephalitis. In 1871, the first case of Japanese encephalitis was documented. Since then it has spread across Asia and become the most important cause of epidemic encephalitis worldwide. One of the epidemics is the acute encephalitis syndrome or AES in India. The first report of AES in India was in 1955 at Velour, Tamil Nadu. Since then AES cases have been reported on and off becoming the leading cause of premature deaths in India. For better understanding the history of AES in India can be divided into three phases. The first phase is the period before 1975 when cases with Japanese encephalitis etiology were few. The second phase started between 1975 and 1999 when cases began to rise. When outbreak became frequent endemic regions were identified. This covered the Gangetic Plains, including the East UP, Bihar, West Bengal, and Assam. Other affected areas were the Deccan regions and Tamil Nadu. The third phase is marked by the rise in non-Japanese encephalitis outbreaks. These were primarily caused by Chandipura virus, Nipah virus, and other enteroviruses. Mild cases of Chamki Bukhar usually show less or no symptoms. Her patients might experience headaches, fever, aches in muscles or joints or weakness. Patients with severe symptoms display confusion, agitation, hallucinations, seizures, paralysis, hearing and speech difficulties, loss of consciousness, weakness and require immediate medical attention. A swollen head, nausea, vomiting, stiffness and irritability are other signs of this fatal disease. In most cases the cause of death is severe hypoglycemia. The primary transmitting agent of encephalitis is a virus. However, in the past few years its agents have been bacteria, fungi and parasites as well. Its main causative agents is herpes simplex virus or the Epstein-Barr virus. The other causative agents can be measles, mumps, rubella and human herpes virus. Patients suffering from chamki bukhar need timely medical attention. Antiviral and anti-inflammatory medications are prescribed to lessen the swelling. Steroid injections are also recommended to lessen body pain, headaches, and the effects of fever. Adequate rest, plenty of fluids, a well-balanced and nutritious diet can correct malnutrition and deficiencies. Most cases of chamki fever get cured in a few days. but severe forms may take a few weeks to completely resolve in severe cases patients require intensive care such as breathing assistance and intravenous fluids for hydration practicing good hygiene is necessary as chamki bukhar can spread through contaminated water or food mosquitoes are a common spreader of this killer encephalitis it is also advised to keep mosquito repellents and insecticides handy at all times And finally, parents are advised to never let affected children sleep on an empty stomach. Malnutrition can worsen the symptoms caused by the lychee toxin. 
like and subscribe to spread the word and we'll be back next week with another video on Prep Ladder YouTube channel.